you guys saw me unbox the gift that Saints Angels Sinners had sent over my way. A few of their palettes obsessed with the way they swatched on my finger. So I wanted to play around with one of the palettes and see what look I can create. Personally, I could not get out of my mind the one that I said that I would do like the pinks and this cream shade and then like the chocolate. So I feel like that's the route we're gonna go with. By the way, do you see the length of my hair? Hello. I know, it's growing, I'm so proud of it. And it's really healthy. So let's prep the lids really quickly. I'm gonna use my clean canvas in medium. I just blow dried my hair and then I went in and I was like, you know what, just flat iron it so it's not like poofy and goofy and stuff. And then I did all of that for nothing because once I'm bragging like, oh, I told my husband, look at my hair. This is how you like it, nice and straight and like it's getting long, it's pretty. He goes, you do know when you go get tired, it's raining. I'm like, no, and then it's, it's not even raining right now. It is pouring and I totally wish my car was inside the garage right now because then I wouldn't have to worry about the rain. It is intense right now. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna go with this palette over here. It is called Her Royal Highness. If you haven't seen that mystery gift unboxing, make sure you go check it out, show it some love. Also, I did my 8x8 Beauty Bundle unboxing. It's already live. It's gonna have the same outfit and stuff because I'm doing two videos in one today. I need to make sure you guys know I've got content going up for you. So I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into Your Mom because it's such a pretty pink shade. It's not even a straight up pink. It's more of a salmon shade. But anyway, we're gonna tap into her. We're gonna tap out and let's see. I know I like their multi-chromes and their duo chromes. Let's see how they're mats perform is that fallout no it's not it's raining so bad i think i want to make some sort of suit today i know Juan and Ty and Cam won't be up for it. I'll cook them something else, but I think I'm gonna make myself a soup. I'm a soup girl. I love anything soup. Okay, we're really blowing this out. All right, so if she's pigmented. I can't complain. And for those of you wondering, when is the next Gerard Cosmetics sale? I will keep you posted. I get emails right before the sale goes live. So I'll make sure I'll post over on my community page and let you guys know. But if you're not following me over on Instagram, you totally should, because I also add the link there that way you guys can just click and go shopping and stuff make life a lot easier trust me i like saving you guys some money so as soon as i find out any sales ofra and or gerard cosmetics i will let you know y'all can trust that i'm grabbing a fluffy brush eyeshadow brush at that and i'm gonna dip into the shade princess which is the pink that i swatched that i was obsessed with and oh okay we're going to tap her on the lid specifically where I want her and then I could always go in with my finger to pack it on. Sometimes a multi-chrome has just so much shift in it, so much product to shift that it could look a tad chunky when applying with a brush. So I'll show you, you see, it, it doesn't look chunky. It just, it looks glittery because it's foil and glitter. So you go in with your finger, you warm it up, and look what she's going to look like. So that you can look how intense it is specifically where I tapped it. So using your finger is gonna warm up the product, truly intensify it, and give you the most out of the product itself. And then I'll just make sure I press it onto the skin. I, I did get some fallout, but that is expected. It is okay. <laughs> and look, I still have foil. Oh, on my finger. Now I grabbed a small fluffy brush. This is gonna be great on the outer corner and on the crease. This is one of the Morphe little itty bitty babies. And then I'm gonna dip into this espresso shade. It is like two shades lighter than a black. This is gonna be terrific. Not sounded like I was saying terrified. Not terrified, terrific. It's gonna be terrific. On the crease, tap out. Okay. So I'm doing that, I'm gonna bring it in. Oh no, I tapped out, I tapped out and there's fallout. No, not today. So let me tap out even more just in case. So I'm applying here and I'm bringing it forward. And once I have applied the majority of my product, you guys already know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep pouncing and bringing it up a smidge. I don't wanna darken it too much, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking as we go, you see? 
So you really don't have to tap back into the pan. Sometimes with a really deep shade, when you go back into the pan, you might kind of deepen it way too much and it gets out of hand. It'll get a little crazy. So I like to just work with whatever is already on my brush. See, I'll bring it forward over here, add some depth. I'm gonna leave it alone because I feel like I wanna like really pack on this chocolate shade and like lift a little bit. I feel like it though, let's see. It looks good, but it's been decided. I'm grabbing a very, very fine angled liner brush. I'm gonna dip into the brownie shade. Thing about this uh, shade, it's, it's so pigmented. So I'm gonna apply that as close to the lash line as possible. I can go ahead and darken that. And then I'm gonna lift just a smidge. I'm not really emphasizing the a wing too much, which is why I'm not going in with a black liner because it'll be too harsh. I want it to be slightly diffused, but I I kind of want something to be there. And then I'll go in with my finger and pull. Just make it nice and sharp. Going back in with the brush we used on that like pinky cream, not creamy, pinky, pinky coral. It's pinky coral, it's more pinky coral. I'm gonna blend that edge, apply some of that on there. I'm gonna blend out here to further diffuse. With the brush we used on the like outer corner of the eye on that brown i'm gonna drag whatever's left down here and whatever's left over here no additional product now in order to finish up the eyes we have to go in with mascara and lashes so let me pick a set of lashes real quick i've chosen my falsies i'm gonna go in with the next gen wispy these are in a page boy they are by kiss i usually hold my falsies like this when i'm applying glue that way i apply glue on both of them once the glue's on this one i start applying it on this one then this one's kind of tacky so then once i start applying this one that one's for sure tacky and it's it's a process and my fingers look like a little alien situation but it works it totally works and i went with something a little more on the like natural side not super dramatic i definitely want to emphasize the lashes for this look but not too much all right so she's not ready to get tucked in yet which is fine and if you need help applying lashes i have a full-on video teaching you how to apply lashes like a pro accent lashes full-on strips tips and tricks i promise you i made it as easy as possible to follow and so many people have learned to apply lashes using that video and then we're gonna press my falsies and my realsies together and the reason for that is so that it'll look like it's all one. We're gonna apply a little more mascara. Now that the lashes are on, I can fine tune. I'm gonna go back into this brown and I'm gonna dramatize this outside just a little bit. All right, you see the drama? Cool. And then I'm gonna apply a little more out here with the fluffy brush that we used for that pinky coral shade. I diffuse that edge. I'm not blending out the brown we just added. I'm just diffusing it a little bit so it doesn't look full on harsh. And I think we're done with the eyes. All right, you guys, and here is the completed look. Mija, I think it's safe to say that this palette performed beautifully, okay? Look at the eyes. I knew the pink and then the pink duochrome was gonna do the most for the eyes. I'm obsessed. I think it's so pretty. I love how shimmery it is. I have a little bit of shimmer here, but that's like a little bit of fallout from when I applied with the brush. I was able to kind of like diffuse that and it doesn't look too intense or crazy. The formulas are actually really nice. Again, St. Angels Sinners. The palette looking like this. I like that you get a mirror with it and they have really nice formulas based on what I have tried. If you didn't see the other video, go check it out because I have other palettes that they sent over my way. If there's any interest in me featuring those palettes in upcoming videos, let your girl know. I keep staring at my eyes because these came out really, really pretty. I think the owner of Saints Angels Sinners left a comment in the comment section of the other video. I'm gonna really confirm whether or not there's an actual discount code that I can use to share with you guys so that you guys can get a discount on any of your orders. So make sure you check the pinned comments below. I'll pin a comment if that is a fact. But what do you guys think? I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you're new here, I'd like to invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. And if you have enjoyed today's video, you guys, you don't have to leave. I upload six days out of the week because I want to make sure you guys have fresh new content all the time. So make sure you visit my channel for my most recent videos. I'm also going to go ahead and suggest two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. I think you'll really enjoy those. And if you do go check it out, I will see you guys over there. Bye guys.